Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the theme in the 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster in the all new 2023 Kia Sportage. I have in front of me here an X-Line Limited all wheel drive in shadow matte gray. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, the all-new 2023 Kia Sportage has a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and the X-Line Limited all-wheel drive trim. So the previous generation Sportage didn't have this um, feature available. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head into the 12.3-inch infotainment screen and we're going to show you where you can change the theme of this big, beautiful instrument cluster. So heading over to this screen, we can either hit the setup button when your media controls are showing, or from the home screen, we can swipe to the left and hit setup in the bottom corner. Then we're gonna go into vehicle. On the left, we have cluster. We're gonna go into that and then select the cluster theme selection. Right now, the theme selection is linked to the drive mode. So if I were to manually be changing the drive mode, it would then change the theme of what's on the screen. But what we're gonna do is unlink that right now. And right now, we are set to classic A and our other options are classic B and C and dynamic. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch those. So again, this is on classic A. I'm gonna select classic B. This is more for like when you're actually in the sport mode, this is the screen that it would change to. Classic A would be more for like kind of the normal mode. Classic C would have been for like when you're in eco mode. And then we have our dynamic theme which is just really, really sharp with a horizon line there. Now it still maintains all of your safety feature icons um, and any other information on the screen that are on the other themes as well. And regardless of what theme you're on, it will still maintain the blind spot viewing monitor as well. And then if you didn't want to have it on a specific theme, you can always go back and just have it linked to the drive mode for whenever you change it. And that's how you do it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing if you're enjoying our content. Also all of our social media links are in the description below. Thanks guys.